Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. I published a video there the other day on Facebook to do with the Sunday working entitlement, entitlement to a Sunday premium if you work on a Sunday. And somebody posted or commented that that was, wasn't that old law. Yes, it is old law. It's pursuant to the Organisation of Working Time Act 1997. But nevertheless, it's still the law and it's still very relevant. And the next day after that comment on the Facebook video, I see a report in the Irish Times there about a leading Irish retailer who have a blanket practice of denying premium Sunday pay. The chain in question is Jack and Jones retail shops and an employee, a former employee, brought a claim against the company in relation to their failure to pay a Sunday premium and the employee was awarded over €10,000. But the interesting thing about it was that the representative for Jack and Jones accepted that they didn't pay as a matter of course a Sunday premium and that the contract was silent on the issue. They're a menswear shop apparently, Jack and Jones. They've been ordered by the WRC to take steps to ensure all of its staff are paid uh, extra for Sunday work. The clothing retailer admitted it did not pay a premium to the workers. They have about 40 full-time equivalent staff in Ireland and in this particular case there was a gentleman let go as it were five weeks after making a working hours claim. He was awarded €10,725. The WRC was ruling on the complaints by a chap called Jake Quinn under the Organisation of Working Time Act 1997. He alleged that he got no premium pay for 14 Sundays between April and July 2022. He earned €11 Euros per hour for a 37 and a half hour a week and he alleged he did not receive bank holiday entitlements for four dates in March, April and May of that year as well. Mr Quinn, who made the complaint, said he was let go in July 2022, only four and a half months after he was hired. So this chap hadn't got the protection of the Unfair Dismissals Act because he didn't have 12 months service. Nevertheless, there's nothing to stop him from bringing a claim under the Organisation of Working Time Act, which is precisely what he did. He submitted that the working hours complaints to the uh, Working uh, Workplace Relations Commission, rather, he submitted the claims on June 19, 2022, uh, and this was about five and a half weeks before his employment ended. His evidence was not contested by the retailer. The retailer's representative, William O'Reilly, said, quote, the company does not pay Sunday premia. The complainant was paid a standard rate of payment and under his contract, he was required to be flexible in his hours of attendance, Mr O'Reilly said. So he was the representative for Jack and Jones. Mr O'Reilly added that the complainant was paid 33.78 hours in holiday entitlements, which Mr Quinn agreed at the hearing had included a portion for holiday pay. The Workplace Relations Commission adjudication officer noted in his decision that the company's representative accepted that Mr Quinn works Sunday hours and that it does not pay any form of Sunday premium. He also said that it's also accepted that the contract is silent on this issue. Therefore, the complaint by the employee in question was well founded. The adjudicator as well noted that the working time legislation gave him jurisdiction to award up to two years pay in the case of a breach of the act. He ordered the uh, Jack and Jones to pay Mr Quinn €10,725. He said the sum was equivalent to six months wages for Mr Quinn and was just and equitable having regard to all the circumstances. He also ordered Jack and Jones, the retailer, to comply with the payment of Sunday premia for all his employees. It's interesting to note that this employee was only there a relatively short period of time, less than six months I think, 
and uh, nevertheless he was awarded six months wages for the breach of the Sunday Premier entitlement and the breach by the employer. The other important thing to consider is if you're an employer then if you don't pay Sunday premium uh, for working Sunday for Sunday working time well then you're going to be in significant difficulty in other words the case will go against you and do bear in mind one of the most important things that the adjudicator has said here is to draw attention to the fact that the adjudicator could award up to two years wages for the breach so strictly speaking the breach might only go on for a month or two but nevertheless the adjudicator does have discretion to award up to two years salary for breaches of the Organisation of Working Time Act 1997 and that is the particular act that deals with the entitlement for Sunday premium pay. So I may have published a video, as I say, last week on Facebook about the entitlement to Sunday premium. Somebody may well correctly have pointed out that this is old law. It's, yes, it's from 1997. But nevertheless, employers, unfortunately, uh, some employers are still in breach of it and don't pay. And if they do uh, adopt that position, well, then they're leaving themselves open to uh, claims. And in this particular case, I note that there's 40 employees, so I don't know what the company, the employer, is going to do in respect of the other 40 employees. I don't know what the other 40 employees are going to do in respect of bringing claims against the employer. That's entirely a matter for themselves. But clearly, if one employee has been awarded €10,750, then perhaps others might be encouraged to bring a similar claim that's assuming that the employer doesn't somehow head them off at the pass as it were as I say I have no knowledge of what's going on I have no knowledge of what employees might do or employers might do I'm simply speculating that if there's 40 employees and if one of them has won 10,750 euros and if the employer has given evidence and his representative has said we don't pay a Sunday premium well then uh, you know just as surely as day follows night then it's uh, possible that other claims might follow hope you find this video useful i would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below thanks a lot